coming to you with a short little trick on how to improve the visualization of the Roby Mega Pointy in Capture 2022. Here we go. Hey gang, I'm working on a new project and I decided that it was a good opportunity for me to uh, show you a little hack that I use whenever it comes to visualizing the Roby Mega Pointy with uh, Capture. Uh, the Roby Mega Pointy, as you might probably know, is a hybrid fixture. That means that it has a very narrow and crisp beam, but can also be used as a spot fixture at the same time. The fixture does it by using a so-called beam mode and a so-called spot mode. However, there is no switch on the device uh, which you have to use to switch between those two modes. And there's also no um, setting in the menu or a control channel. But the fixture is quite clever and does that automatically depending on the state of the second the rotating gobo wheel. So you have the first gobo wheel which is a static gobo wheel and then you have the second gobo wheel which is rotating and in between the open gobo and the first gobo there is a gobo slot which is called the flat field and this is actually where the switch from beam look to the spot look happens automatically so let's have a look in capture so the fixtures that you can see here are Roby Mega Pointies, and I will select them. Oh, by the way, the capture file that you're seeing is the capture file that I used for my recent video. If you haven't seen that, make sure to check that out as well. And now we will bring the zoom down to the most narrow setting. So. This is the most narrow setting that you can set the Mega Pointy in Capture. Um, however, I find that this is not narrow enough compared to the real fixture on a real stage. So what you could do is you could go to the selected items properties of the fixtures, scroll down to optics, and there you have an option to choose between beam application and spot application. Again, this is not what the real fixture does. The real fixture does that automatically. However, even if I um, switch that to the beam application, um, I find that the beam is not as narrow as it would be on the real Mega Pointy. So that is my personal opinion and um, that comes from comparing uh, the look of a visualization to the real look of the fixtures on real stages. So for me, that is too uh, too wide and I would love to have it a little bit more uh, narrow. So how can we do that? Um, first of all, I will switch it back to spot application and you will see why in just a minute. Then the second thing is that I scroll down to the rotating gobo wheel. Um, Remember, that is where the switch from beam mode to spot mode happens within the real fixture. And by double clicking on it, um, you open up a dialog, um, which you confirm. And here you have the second gobo wheel. You could, in principle, change out the gobos. Um, but what I want to do is I want to insert a beam reducer on the first, on the open gobo slot of the gobo wheel too. Uh, for that I go to library, go to gobos and search for ignition. Um, basically it doesn't matter, you can use every beam reducer gobo that you want. Um, I just found that the ignition beam reducer uh, works quite well and you have different sizes of beam reducers um, here next to each other. So let me just show you as an example if I slot in the beam 2 beam reducer to the open slot you can see well now the beams are getting very sharp very narrow and um, this is too narrow uh, so in my experience I like to use the beam 5 beam reducer gobo and that um, gives me the best 
looking or let's say the most realistic looking output. Let's um, have a look on the programmer and here you can see well now we have when we are in the B mode which is actually just global wheel 2 open we have the beam reducer which makes it a little bit more crisp however as soon as we go to the rotating gobos um, we have basically um, disabled this beam reducer because it is just switching from the beam reducer to the actual gobos of the fixture which kind of emulates the switch between the beam mode and the spot mode um, and of course you can also make it wider. That's the reason why I like to use the spot application um, here in the settings because with the beam application um, you don't get a good spot look anymore. Um, also this beam reducer helps with the intensity of the fixture because I find that um, with an intensity scale of 100% the fixture is a little bit too bright. Um, but the beam reducer, of course, reduces the output of the fixture just a tiny little bit, which also makes it a little bit more realistic. So that is my little trick with the Roby Mega Pointy in Capture. Um, as I said, it's like a workaround and it is not perfectly accurate, of course, um, because the problem is that if you want to have a white spot look um, without a gobo, you will not achieve it as you have now inserted the beam reducer on the open gobo slot in gobo wheel number two. So it is quite a compromise, however, works pretty well for me. And if you like this video, then make sure to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and see you next time. Das ist doch scheiße.